Hello! Time for another night in downtown and time for another family. So, what we have left now is 15 families in the bin and one already out on the map. And there are 13 families that I would like to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and roll my d20. And I got to higher numbers, so I'm going to roll again. Okay, I got number 10, so let's see what family that is. Hmm, okay. It's the Walter family. So this is an um, elder woman with her son, who she had with John Smith. So it's one of those kids. The thing is that she's going to be an, um, living alone soon, probably. I could actually see her probably living in one of the row houses, maybe. And it would be fun to um, try one of those out as well. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to plop her down into one of these houses. So the question is then which one I should pick. Probably one of the smaller ones. Because these two are a little bit further out the back. But these two have, a par um, have gardens in the back. This one is slightly cheaper actually. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. So here we are. One of the things that you might notice straight off the bat is that uh, there's actually gates here. When I built them, um, I tried to put down gates, but it wouldn't work because, um, yeah, there's a lot of invisible fencing here that creates a sort of backyard for this, even though it's on the foundation. And uh, using the sort of real driveway gate that I had, it didn't recognize that as a full, like a full fenced in area for the backyard. Um, so that's why I couldn't use that. But I got some really helpful advice from Tia Addict. She recommended me this gate and it's actually a statue and not a um, like a real gate. So I do have an invisible fence running through here. And then this gate is just, you know, pure decorative. <laughs> so um, the thing I had to do, though, is that I had to put it down. And the tile is actually here. So the first side of the gate that the Jessica is walking through right now. So it might be the case that this um, gate door is going to be stuck open. <laughs> we'll have to see how that works. But uh, yeah, so I'm really happy about this because it makes it feel more like what I have envisioned for like this fenced in area with this being a bit more uptown houses, I suppose. So, um, speaking of that, I need to figure out how much money this family should have. Jessica is apparently already employed in the medicine career. <laughs> she has a lifetime wish to become a criminal mastermind. She is a family sim, though. If she has been working in the medicine career, I mean, if she's been a nurse her whole life, she wouldn't have earned a lot of money. But uh, if she would be like a surgeon or something, then on the other hand, she would be pretty well off. And I think that would make more sense. So I think that she should have been able to earn quite a bit of money, to be honest. And since she's an elder, she would have probably been able to pay off her debts as well at this point. So she is single though. So she would have had to um, have a pretty high salary her, on her own, but uh, that's not impossible. So I'm thinking maybe I should just, I'm trying to think how much money it's going to take to furnish this house. Maybe I should just like give her 40,000 and then see, or maybe let's just mother load her once. Um, and then she has 50,000. And then once I have furnished everything to my liking, then I can see how much is left and if it makes sense that she would still have that. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. So which apartment should they live in? I mean, they are um, identical, just mirrored. But it looks like Jessica was heading this way. So let's go with this one. All right, so I'm going to start with bringing everything out. 
they're not going to need to take out any loans. So I'm going to start by randomis randomizing her secondary aspiration. So I'm rolling a d6 die. Got number four. Okay, so fortune. <laughs> I mean, that would make sense if she has um, worked her way up on her own. Very ambitiously. Yeah, I'm also going to randomize her hobby with a d10. Got number one for her. She's bisexual apparently, so she is the first sim uh, so far in this hood that doesn't have the straight preference. So hobby number one is nature. Good thing then that they have a backyard. Hopefully they can do something with it. I've never actually tried playing uh, this little trick that I did when I built this with um, having a foundation and an apartment and then actually have a backyard. The trick is to put in an invisible fence around here. So <laughs> as I understood it, it should still belong to the apartment. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to find out. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so can't forget to actually take this down as well in the spreadsheet. And I'm going to roll the die again. Got number five. So um, Orion, your hobby. He's straight and his hobby is music. Nice. And um, yeah, let's randomize her lifetime wish. <laughs> Have six grandchildren. Hmm. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm afraid that once Orion is old enough to have kids, you're, you're probably past your expiry date, Jessica. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's very interesting and pretty unbelievable <laughs> that she would have that lifetime wish if she has been single all her life and um, she just has one kid. I mean, it, it could happen, of course, but it's pretty sad <laughs> in that case, if that's what she actually wanted. She must have been through something that made her alone in that case. I wonder what that would be. Hmm. Well, it's interesting, so of course I'm keeping it. And if she is working in the medical field, which uh, makes sense, I believe. So I'm going to keep that. Then she should have a, a major here. And that makes sense with that. So it's either biology or physics, I believe. Well, I mean, she um, has the nature hobby. So let's go with biology. All right. And then what level should she be at? Oh, is this an elder career? Oh. Well, I don't think I can switch. I think I actually have to have her resign and then um, get employed again. I'm just going to have her sign the contract first then. Then she needs to call work and resign. And I'm going to give her the adult job instead. Okay, so she got level 4 intern. I don't think that's high enough. So I'm going to give her like, what is level 6? Yeah, a GP makes sense, I think. She doesn't have the skills for it though, but uh, she should definitely have the skills for it. I think I'm going to roll a D6 to see how many skill points to plus on the things she has. So starting with mechanical, she got 5 more. That's actually all the way up. Logic. She got two more. And the last one. She got six points more. So it's one over. All right. That makes more sense. Good. And do you have a part-time job? You do. <laughs> You're a dishwasher. And he's a pleasure sim, apparently. Yeah, he can keep that for now. He doesn't have any skill points at all, though. So I think I'm gonna... Go skills, randomize me. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this down. 
creativity, it makes sense that he has a few, even um, especially if he's um, having the music and dance thing. Yeah, let's do it like that, I guess. Maybe a bit more down with cleaning, actually. That's it for the preparation, I think, because I don't mind him being this young. She could have gotten pregnant because this is her first day as an elder as well. So she could have gotten pregnant late in life. I think that's fine. You know, she randomized as bisexual, but she could be asexual as well. I will keep that in mind uh, and I won't take a decision at once, but that's a possibility because if she has chosen to be alone all her life, that could be a reason why. And if she only got pregnant late in life, it, it is possible that John Smith um, did something to up his chances or there was some sort of particular situation. I don't know. Um, but yeah, because she's a family sim as well. And if she's not asexual, why would a family sim choose to live alone otherwise? No, I think I'm actually going to take the decision to make her asexual. I think it makes sense. Um, I do have this trait that I've downloaded. And um, it will, if I put that in her inventory, it will prevent her from getting the um, uh, woohoo wants. See, she can still fall in love and stuff and, um, you know, those kinds of things. But uh, she she doesn't necessarily have all of those wants that other sims have for romance so I'm putting that in here and I'm gonna write that down she's not bi she is ace so she's actually gonna have um, the bisexual preference still I think yeah let's go with that Okay, but that is all the prep work done except for the season. So I'm gonna do that as well. And it needs to be spring. And let's uh, start with the makeover. So I'm gonna start with Jessica. Yeah, so she used to have this braided up to, but I've been clicking through the options here for a bit. And um, this one was actually right in the beginning and it spoke to me. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna go with that one anyway. Trying to think, maybe she would like to have it some other way for some outfits. Maybe for formal, she can have it in an updo instead. Yeah, maybe let's go with this one for her formal wear. And it can still be that for her sleepwear. And uh, yeah, I guess swimwear and uh, her athletic wear she can have it up in um, some sort of knot or ponytail yeah we can go with that one I think actually I think I saw another hairstyle for the formal wear that would work better if I can find it again yeah it's actually got the braid so <laughs> I think that makes sense yeah, yeah, I like it. So she's got very intense makeup, like many other sims in downtown. I think I don't want any blush on her. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this one. It's normal for me. <laughs> and uh, she has very pink lips to start. Actually, it was pretty tricky to find a good, <laughs> a good lip color for her then. I think I'm going to try to stray away a bit from the sort of bright pink because I can't find anything perfect with that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. I think this is the, the best one. So maybe I can revisit the blush now. Is there any of these that can, can go? Yeah, let's go with that one, I think. Looking good. Nice. And uh, let's move over to the clothes. So she had an orange jacket on. I have this, but I think this is pretty... <laughs> it 
intense, maybe. Ooh, maybe this would be nice just because she has the nature hobby, right? Maybe not white because that would get dirty. <laughs> Could also go with this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take that one and let's see about pants. Mm, I don't think a skirt works with that shirt. Yeah, I think I'm going with this. Just gonna take a look here through the outfits and see if there's something that's like perfect. No, I mean, this would have been pretty on her, but I think that um, she's gonna want to be out in the garden and stuff, so I don't think that's gonna work. So yeah, let's go with that. I'm just gonna take something at random here. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, and again, I don't have much for elders <laughs> here. Um, maybe this one. Hmm. She already has that one, but I think maybe she would have something like this. Um, I'm just going to grab this. I don't think she's going to be very athletic. Oh, well, we're going to have to see. Autumn's coming first, so maybe this. Good, and change back into every day. I'm going to continue with Orion. So he has this very slicked back hairstyle, so let's see. This one is a bit like that, I guess, with shaved sides. So it, it might make sense. Could also go with this. Or this. That looks cool, actually. Wow, this was very grey in this hairstyle. <laughs> Hmm, maybe I want it to be the more warm blonde then. Yeah, let's go with that. Right, and he has very black eyes. And also face paint, so <laughs> I'm going to start by removing that. He's going to need to have a good black lipstick. Either this or one that fills out the mouth a bit more. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Could have this. That's very black around the eyes. <laughs> no, actually, might have made more sense what he had. Could also go with like this and then a black eyeshadow. Yeah, that might be cool, actually. Yeah. Going with that. And I mean, he does have an iconic outfit on. I don't know if I want to change it, because I think that this is um, pretty epic. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm actually going to keep it and uh, give him other clothes for everything else. So, sure he can have that. Nice. So there he is, looking good. <laughs> All right, change back into your everyday. All right then, well, that means that I can actually start to just uh, furnish this. So yeah, let's get started. Starting to furnish this house, I was the most eager to try out the backyard and the parking spot and yeah, it worked. <laughs> so I was super happy about that. That was one of the fears that I'd had before moving the Sims into this lot, that whatever this trick was doing was that it uh, allowed me to, you know, create the house and have it on the foundation and then um, connect everything. But that the yard would be counted as, uh, you know, common area space. But luckily it wasn't the case. It actually is connected properly to the apartment. So yay! <laughs> Now that I've tried it out, you know that you can do the same as well, so yeah, ah, it's so cool. It's one of those things that I've been kind of wishing that I was able to do uh, when I was younger and uh, started to build up my own apartments. And of course, I liked using foundations, so of course I tried to use foundations with the backyards, but it never worked for me, so 
<laughs> doing this trick with the invisible fence really it does work apparently so go for it so yeah with that uh, happy surprise i started to furnish the house and um, i've noticed doing this renovations now that i apparently often start with the bedrooms <laughs> so <laughs> that was the case for this as well maybe it's part of like you know the get to know the sim process that I sort of start with the bedroom and then build the house around it because I feel like a bedroom is such a personal space that's where you more than any other room really even if the sim is living alone I feel like that is the room where most of the, the sims personality is transferred and more visible if that makes sense of course it's it is the case for that like with a teen's room or children's room or um, even, you know, adult rooms when they live together with other friends and stuff. Um, but yeah, maybe that's why I start with the bedrooms. <laughs> that's a theory anyway. And yeah, um, I realized that there was some issue here, <laughs> as you can see with this window. Uh, apparently it doesn't allow me to put in curtains. I tried with a bunch of different OMSPs to try to make it work, but yeah, as you can see, in that exact position <laughs> it doesn't want me to, to place down anything and the same thing happened uh, downstairs actually so I don't know why I, I guess it has something to do with whatever is on the side there um, whether that is like yeah, I really don't know like the closeness to the other windows or maybe that door frame or yeah Anyway, I had to make something else work, so I put in this sort of screen curtain that looks like uh, some doors. And I've had that on the back burner for a long time, but I've never had like the perfect place to put it. So yeah, this actually <laughs> worked out perfectly. Uh, it sort of became like um, a way to close off the, the light from those windows in this space. So yeah, if I'm having the same issues with the uh, coming apartments and that sort of window <laughs> space not allowing curtains then maybe I'll make a habit of it because I feel like that fitted very well <laughs> into that corner there. Uh, I also felt building this that that wardrobe fitted into that corner very well uh, but um, you will see later when I start to play with this room that um, yeah the, the desk and the chair doesn't really work and while playing, I, I was a little bit uh, worn out <laughs> at that point. Uh, I actually recorded this after uh, recording my Pleasant View episode, so <laughs> I was a little bit tired at this point. So I don't think uh, I, I realized it, but um, yeah, I think that the reason was because of the wardrobe being so close to that chair. So going back to this house later, I think either that I'm going to have to change out that black wardrobe in Orion's room um, for something smaller, Possibly, or maybe I can um, move around the desk somehow, or I do have the same desk but uh, with the desk space um, in the other direction, so maybe I can use that. Uh, so I'll have to experiment a bit with that, I think. Yeah, we're moving downstairs, and um, from the start, we I only had the tiles in part of the room, but starting to furnish it and sort of figuring out where all the cabinets and counters and everything were going to go, it only made sense to have the tiling in the entire room. Um, I couldn't really screen off where the kitchen table would go in a tasteful way, so <laughs> that's why it became like this. And from the start I had planned to put in um, the sort of disconnected ovens that you put into a cabinet that I often use. But uh, yeah, I couldn't really make it work together with the table and the chairs and still make everything usable. So I ended up just putting in a sort of decorative cabinet that yeah, just looks like um, the cabinet that you would have for like dry goods, I suppose. <laughs> and then, yeah, I used that for the fridge instead. But this is a very, very beautiful sink that I very rarely used, actually. Uh, I should use it more because it's, it's really pretty. And that uh, suited this um, kitchen very well, I think. I'm thinking about this house like it's been owned by this family for many, many years. Like, I'm thinking that Jessica probably owned this house way before she had Orion, even. Um, 
I feel like this is her space, something that she has sort of built and established through her years, working her way up in the um, medical field. And with it being a rental, she wouldn't have had to have uh, as much money as she would have if she actually owned this. So, yeah, that makes sense, actually, in a way, with her being uh, single and all. And uh, decorating for a single sim with a child is also a little bit different, I feel like, um, from um, decorating with someone with a partner. And yeah, also trying to um, marry uh, her style with her son's style. And yeah, <laughs> it is a little bit of a challenge, I suppose, uh, because the entire house became very... Jessica's house um, but I feel like there's uh, little details here and there that also brings Orion into the mix but he definitely has his own space in his room <laughs> um, but yeah I can really see him fit in here with the TV and everything even though it is very I'm not sure how to explain it really um, I feel like the house became sort of like a, a fancy older woman's house <laughs> pretty stereotypical that way uh, a woman who really enjoys culture I would say like uh, fine art those kinds of things um, someone who has taken the time to um, look out for favorite books and store them and yeah keep um, things that's dear to her and uh, but still keeping everything neat and clean um, yeah, I feel like Jessica has probably grown together with her house throughout the years. And uh, yeah, I feel like the kind of furniture that I picked out for her reflect that in a way. And I also realized that uh, the size is actually pretty much perfect for um, one or two adults and one child, I suppose, for these kinds of houses. So that actually also helps me when trying to figure out what other families to place in similar houses. I bought a really expensive fancy car for her because I feel like she's worth it. <laughs> she deserves it. Uh, and I feel like, uh, yeah, a white fancy car just suits her in a way for some reason. <laughs> and yeah, she got the chandelier as well, some fancy lighting and a red light in Orion's room because, yeah, I feel like that will bring in the mood <laughs> in the teenager's room. And I also remembered a time control clock. I'm starting to get the hang of this. <laughs> Right, so that is the renovation done and I'm so pleased that I was able to put in the car and everything. So yeah, gonna go right ahead and make that Jessica's car. And I'm gonna slow down the time while I still remember. <laughs> so Jessica is actually going to work today. And of course Orion is going to school but is not going to work after. And I did give them both cell phones, right? Yes. Good. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and send Orion to school. Not too much time has passed, so I'm not going to set hour this time. Right. And I suppose that Jessica doesn't have much time left before she has to leave. But uh, yeah, she has time for some breakfast though, so... She can have some, uh, a sandwich. She has to leave, but she can probably eat that and um, wash up the dishes and then she can head out. I think that this family should probably have a pet of some kind. And it looks like she wants a pet as well. I feel like some kind of um, animal that would keep her company out in the garden and stuff. That would um, curl up and sleep in at the foot end of Orion's bed, you know. So I'm thinking dog for these two. So I'll probably go ahead and uh, get them a dog when they're both back. So I'm just going to look at the staircase so everything is working. Yeah, no issues. Awesome. Yeah, and the door is stuck open, as I thought it would be, <laughs> but yeah. 
that's fine. I'd rather have the gates than not have them, so. There's a chance card. One of the regular senior citizen tour groups from Old Town is taking a tour through the clinic, but their numbers seem to have dwindled. As Jessica walks over to the group, almost half of them proclaim to be ill and that they need to lie down. Jessica examines one of them, a woman with blue hair, but is unable to find anything wrong. Should she turn them away as hypochondriacs or start filling in the paperwork to check them all in? I don't feel like I know her well enough to take a decision. I think I'm gonna roll dice because I, I don't know her well enough. So if it's uh, a low number, it's gonna be number one. And if it's high, it's gonna be number two. So it's, I got the number one, so she's gonna turn them all away. Oh no. Mrs. Crumplebottom, the leader of the Motley crew, huffs and puffs, incensed by what she considers to be outrageous behavior on Jessica's part. The entire tour group storms out, and Jessica is left worrying about the ramifications of her overt bluntness. An elderly picket line forms outside the clinic in silent protest and successfully deters any and all patients from entering the clinic. Jessica sees no more patients for the rest of the day and therefore doesn't see a paycheck either. Oh. <laughs> It was actually funny that it was Mrs. Crumplebottom since this is downtown, so I can see it in front of me, you know. <laughs> nice, so Orion is back. Oh, something's in the way. Hmm. Okay. That's odd. I'm gonna have to check his bedroom then. Uh, but I am... Um... Sneakily putting it down anyway. Hmm, I wonder if maybe it's a wardrobe. I'm just gonna have him walk there. See what happens. Oh, is it? <laughs> it's Mr. Humble who has trolled me. Because I always delete his boxes. Yeah. <laughs> that must be it. Because now we can't walk upstairs. I'm gonna try this again. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was what it was. All right. Well, you might as well work upstairs, Orion, because uh, you need fun and you can uh, play some guitar then. Cool. So he already knows all of the uh, teens that are his siblings. So this is technically what it looks like. So this is the family tree. <laughs> But, um, yeah, they don't know that they are related yet, so. I'm gonna check also with the chat here, if there's anyone he needs to know. I don't recognize any of those names, so I don't think so. I suppose that they must have lived here for a long time. So Ryan probably... I grew up in, in this house. I think it would make sense that he was born here as well. Like this is where he's lived all his life. So he should be pretty spoiled, I think. I think that he, his mother is catering to his every need. <laughs> Gonna check out his personality. So he's very sloppy, so I'm sure she's picking up after him. She's more neat. Okay, so she's a little bit more on the serious side, but also fairly nice and pretty shy. So, yeah, I think that if I would have known that, I probably would have picked the other alternative for the chance card. But I guess she was having a bad day today. <laughs> He's very active. So it's possible that he would want to um, exercise in some way. I mean, I think I could squeeze in a boxing thing in here. Could I? Oh, it's very, very big. <laughs> maybe not after all. Um, but I think maybe one of these. Yeah, I think that should work. Routing wise. <laughs> He's filled up his fun, so maybe try. 
Yep, it works. Uh, or so I thought. Not that his fan bar is full, is it? Yeah, it was that his fan bar was full. All right, good. So it actually works. I've actually messed around a little bit with these in other teenagers' rooms, and apparently you can use them on the diagonal. That was a happy surprise. <laughs> so yeah, they work perfectly with the, the snapping to grid off and um, also diagonally. So you can squeeze them in pretty well in most places, actually. Just going to check the chat again. It's starting to get a bit lonely. No. No one I recognize. Nice, you got the body skill. I didn't have one, so nice. Oh, she won't be home until 6 p.m. I think you better cut that out and you can freshen up a bit. So he's a pleasure sim. Maybe he will get along with either of the... Um, Romance girls, <laughs> Lakshmi and Rose, possibly. But he would have to meet them first. So it might not be until they are at the high school, possibly, if I'm unlucky. Looks like she's not very hungry. I think maybe she ate at work, so I guess he's going to cook something for himself. Maybe some mac and cheese. It's interesting because he has the same lifetime wish that his mother had. And it's the uh, criminal one. <laughs> hmm. I wonder how I should interpret that. I think for him, maybe it's like, you know, combined with the way he dresses and stuff, that he wants to appear tough. <laughs> Like he's um, far more dangerous than he is. <laughs> but actually he is pretty shy. Maybe he has put on a bit of a facade. Because he has uh, bad experiences with people in the past. It's possible that he could be the victim of bullying, maybe. I think that would match out with his shyness, possibly. Like if someone gives him a hard time, he's not fighting back, that kind of thing. Oh, he's so lonely. But he's soon back, so maybe I should just cave in and get them the dog. Uh, but actually he's also pretty tired, so I'm gonna serve up espresso. He can drink that and then they can get the dog. The way that I furnished this... I um, have a feeling that Jessica is a bit of an art collector, maybe. I could see her um, going out to vernissages across the town and, um, yeah, look at the old paintings and buying those. Uh, maybe not old always, but expensive ones, <laughs> that is. Good, so now she's back home. And yeah, without further ado, let's just go up to the computer and where is it? It's shop online, right? Yeah. Buy pets. Yeah, good. That helped his energy a lot. So. Yeah, and of course he's going in and out to the driveway, the back door, because technically there's an invisible fence here, here so he's going to route that way. Oh, I just had a neat idea. Um, Orion is a constellation, right? So it would be nice to go with the name Sirius for the dog, because that's the dog star. <laughs> so we're having a male dog. And what kind of dog should it be? Could see them have a Labrador, absolutely. Dalmatian would work as well, I think. Hmm. 
Mm. So I have two versions of the Waymariner. But this one is a custom one, so it's uh, made a bit slimmer, I could see, than the uh, original one. Yeah, I think that could work. So let's go with Sirius, the Waymariner. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm happy with the coat and everything. So let's just go with the personality. Okay, so right now he's a genius, lazy and finicky. Sure. Yeah, I think that they would have a color for the dog. So let's shop online by color. Yeah, I think that this one is good. So I'm going to go with that one. And let's change. Oh, this one isn't pets enabled. <laughs> oh, this one isn't either. Hmm, I can't really get to the invisible medicine cabinet for some reason. Hmm, okay. Do I have any other mirrors here? <laughs> He's playing in the fridge. Nice. Um, hmm. No, I guess I'm going to have to put in one temporarily then. Yeah, I'm just going to take this one temporarily and change serious appearance. Yeah, that works. Sort of blends into his coat so <laughs> nice um hmm. it's gonna need to have somewhere to sleep so i'm thinking like maybe the foot end of this bed that should work i think it is pretty tight with the wardrobe but i think it does have space enough space for it so I'm going to try that and also a pet bowl and a chewing bone. Yeah, that's what we need. Nice. So yeah, they have a dog now. Cool. So let's just uh, give him a pat. Very cute. All right, Jessica. Um, why don't you try to use the wardrobe, see if it's enough space. No, it isn't. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to sacrifice the mirror then. Oh, it's not playing nice. I actually don't think this one works on the diagonal. I think I've tried that. Oh, that's also too big. That one could work if I find a good recolor. Hmm. Maybe the black one was the best one, actually. <laughs> All right. And then I actually can put in a mirror above this instead. So, yeah. Let's go with that. That should work. Uh, so now change into everyday. Yeah, perfect. Checking up on the chat again. Ooh, now we have Lakshmi here. Nice. So I am going to just send her to the bathroom and then you can fertilize many. He is going to rush up to chat with Lakshmi. And then he can hang out with the dog. Oh, I think this was a terrible place to put that chewing bone. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Um, hmm. I don't want it in the kitchen, I don't think. Oof. Maybe I should just have it up here. Oh, I don't know how to fix it to his paws now. <laughs> yeah. That's good enough. <laughs> yeah. That's going to work better because, yeah, no matter where I put it here, it's a very slim corridor. So he's going to be in the way all the time. Why are you going up here? You really wanted to say that the dog was in the way, huh? <laughs> Chat with Lakshmi. 
good. And then you can praise Sirius for not chewing on the furniture. Right, then he can fill the bowl and maybe serve some dinner. But um, I think it might be overkill to do a um, six portion meal. So I'm gonna put in the variable meal server and do I want leftovers? Yeah, let's do four so they have one leftover each. And then let's um, have you serve some dinner then, I guess. Let's go with spaghetti. Oh, he's out here. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. I got a cooking skill point. Nice. Now he has two. Makes sense if he's in the culinary career, right? <laughs> Just gonna have him put that down and then he can praise Sirius for eating the pet food. And then he can eat his dinner. And Jessica is perfectly content out here. It stopped raining finally. So he's gonna have a long row of tomatoes here. Okay, great. So I think he can um, spend some more time with the dog, maybe play fetch outside. <laughs> We're gonna do it over the road. No, okay, it was interrupted. Yeah, well, at least it's like on the side of the road, so, <laughs> but still. Hang out a bit more. How's it going for you? Okay, you're done. Uh, so why don't you water them as well, and then you can eat dinner. Why are you lying down? I'm trying to pet you. <laughs> okay. Something is weird with the routing out here, apparently. Oh, well. He's gained a little bit more fun, but maybe he can uh, call up Lakshmi as well. Just gonna check, check the chat here. I mean, he can meet Trista and um, Lindsay as well. Yeah, but those are the ones that are my playables, except Remington, but yeah, I'm gonna wait with him anyway. <laughs> okay, so apparently Sirius wanted to lie down out here. That's also a choice. Oh, wow. No wonder he wanted to go on a hike, because he's been very much into nature and sports. And also fitness, actually. So, uh, yeah, he's a very active sim for sure. And I guess the hiking comes from his mother then. She's also into nature. So I guess maybe they go out hiking together. So, yeah, I figured that's something that could do tomorrow evening, maybe then. Because both of them are going to be back at 6 p.m. by then. Baldwin signed in. Uh, he doesn't know her, so... Gonna have him chat with her as well. Oh, actually, Vaudvan <laughs> is how I'm supposed to pronounce it, I think. I was practicing it, but it's been a few months since then, so... <laughs> uh, I need to look it up to be sure before I play her episode. But I think it was that, Vaudvan. Oh, okay, she's drinking some espresso. Sirius is still out here for some reason. Hmm. Don't you want to come inside? I don't know why he's doing that. Maybe I should turn on control pets. And uh, yeah, have him at least go and eat. Oh, okay. Orion went to bed. Yeah, that's fine. He uh, chatted with, <laughs> he chatted a lot with Trista apparently, but he met uh, all of them. So that's nice. And yeah, you can also chat then. Um, you can chat with all of these. Well, that's good. Nothing was actually preventing Sirius from going back inside. So I don't know. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, wow. There's a teenager with a face mask. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you randomize of the game? But that's weird because they don't normally randomize with makeup and especially not face masks. That's interesting. I hope there's not a teen that I've missed. I, yeah, I think I got all of them, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Apparently there's a mysterious teen here with the face mask on. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but the Tani family was empty when I was done. So there was no more downtown Tawny. Hmm. Maybe Tawny is randomized. Oh, wait, she must be a downtowny. So I guess they do randomize differently, don't they? Hmm. Okay, serious. <laughs> you want to lie on mommy's bed? You know what? I think I'm going to let you. You can sleep there if you want. All right. So they're going to sleep and I'm going to save and uh, speed through till morning and we're playing another day. Oh, the dog woke up in the middle of the night and I uh, think he's going to go pee somewhere. <laughs> yes, so I'm actually going to tell Jessica, Jessica to go up because I want to catch him and um, praise or scold him. Looks like he's going outside actually. Good dog. Oh, she's going to go out on the road. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, at least it wasn't inside. Nice. And then I'm going to bump the energy down again so she can go back to sleep. Right, so it's morning again. Yeah, he's going to need to uh, freshen up and uh, get breakfast and stuff before school. So I think since he's also active, he's probably up early. Make your bed, maybe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess um, the mod that um, removes the bedding when the bed is unmade uh, is counting the tapestry also as <laughs> bedding. <laughs> oh, well. It is technically on the same tile, so that's why it happens. I think actually Jessica wants to get up early as well and um, take care of her garden. Well, you probably shouldn't do that in your PJs, though. So I'm going to have you change into your everyday. <laughs> Sirius is looking at the sandwich with begging eyes. <laughs> nice, I just cleaned that up. Then it should be about time for him to leave for school. It really takes a long time to care for plants, doesn't it? She'll probably have time to water them as well. Hopefully. Nice. So she's got her bronze badge. Awesome. Yeah, went by pretty quickly with this size of garden, I suppose. I would have liked to be able to fill up the pet bowl, but it's... Not possible anymore. It's um, not empty enough. So <laughs> she's going to have to leave for work without doing it. So let's hope um, um, let's hope uh, Sirius can make it until Orion is back home again. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to speed through again. Well, Sirius is uh, choosing to sleep in the bed. That makes me wonder if this is inaccessible. I can click on it, so I don't think so. I think that uh, he's just choosing to sleep on the bed. <laughs> Maybe it has higher comfort or something. Oh, a friend for Orion. But um, yeah, I haven't played with Haley yet, so I'm not going to ask her to stay. Let's see if it goes better with the uh, homework <laughs> placement this time. Yes, good. <laughs> so say goodbye to Haley. 
And you can praise Sirius for eating the pet food. And you can actually also fill the bowl this time. Good. Yeah, so he's going again outside to pee. Nice. So I think that... Um, oh, he needs, he's going to have a snack. Or, well, it says he is. But it looks like he's just playing. <laughs> All right, then. Um, but yeah, you can come outside and uh, praise the dog for peeing in the middle of the road. At risk for his own life. I think I saw some kind of mod that was like a peeing pad, but an invisible one, so that you could um, place it outside without any issues, and that would actually make the dogs prefer to use that instead. Maybe I can look into that, because it would be nicer for Sirius to actually go in the backyard and not out on the road. Yeah, think if that car had been there, <laughs> you know? I'm just gonna... Oh, I can't delete it. Yeah, mop it up then. Yeah, and then he has to leave for work. Oh no, don't dig in the yard, scold. <laughs> Let's start by doing that and then you can go to work. Yeah, he won't be gone long, so. But I'm gonna speed through this again. Oh, Sirius is eating noodle. <laughs> Noodle is such a cute name for a cat. <laughs> right, so we have Orion and uh, Jessica back at the same time. So he's far more tired than he should be, so I'm gonna bump that up a bit. And oh, she actually has uh, made it pretty well throughout the day. Um, neither of them are particularly hungry, actually. So I think I'm gonna have her change into every day. And Orion, you can actually go hiking with uh, everyone in the family, including the dog. So let's go for a walk, everyone. Out in nature. <laughs> so I guess they're going to have to walk quite a bit to... Oh no, was it interrupted for her? I think I'm going to interrupt that as well then, so they don't leave without her. Oh good, he has learned a food thing. He learns very quickly. Since he's a genius, I think only three praises, and that does it, so... Let's try this again. Okay, nice, they're back. Or, well, Sirius is back anyway. Did you come alone? Did you, like, run back or something? <laughs> oh, wow. I guess so, because they're not back yet. Hmm. Oh, here comes them. Here they come, I mean. <laughs> Oh my, it appears that Orion has led the hike through a patch of poison ivy. Oh no. I'm gonna have the scratches. Well, take a shower. <laughs> and um, need to do something fun, so I'm just gonna send him to watch TV. And she technically also needs to have a shower, but... Yeah, she needs to tend the garden anyway, <laughs> so... Gonna send her to do that. Yeah, they're gonna interrupt everything I tell them to do now. <laughs> and he's back to the bed to sleep. Maybe that's why he ran back home, because he was too tired. <laughs> I think that the showering is removing it. If I don't misrecall. Ooh, I just realized that um, I didn't have Jessica teach Ryan to study yesterday. <laughs> I should do that. Oh, what's going on now? Actually, maybe you can play guitar instead because that gave you a lot of fun and you are complaining about watching TV, so... Oh! <laughs> what about perform then? Is that fun for you? No. Okay. Never mind. Let's go to the TV. What is the cat doing in here? I didn't invite you. Did the dog invite you? <laughs> oh, maybe maybe the, the cat is trying to leave. Oh my god, Jessica. Okay, I'm throwing you in the shower because you're not doing anything <laughs> that I tell you to do. Let's see if she can make it to the shower. 
Strat to intercept it. Okay, the shower actually didn't help for him, so maybe it's just time. Change the sim station dance. So itchy. Oh, he's back to itching. Now these two are very close and they have quite a few interests and things that they do in common. So I feel like um, maybe Jessica has been uh, something of an overprotective helicopter mom. <laughs> and um, part of why he um, dresses like this is um, sort of like a rebellion to that. That he wants to have his own style. He wants to be his own person. And cut the ties. <laughs> That's tying into his um, overprotective mother. Maybe. Oh, they're both very tired as well. I think you unfortunately you have to neglect the garden for a bit. Maybe you can uh, serve espresso. Get some energy up. He just needs to eat as well. Maybe the hiking wasn't such a good idea. I think you can uh, take the other espresso cup. Oh, I think I actually turned off show headlines here somewhere, if I can get back to it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So now we can actually see what they're talking about. Well, their body language is saying that they are disagreeing about stuff, but yeah, they're gaining uh, friendship, so... Oh, maybe they're talking about his plans for when he's going to move out. And uh, it looks like Jessica is keeping t talking about the city. So I guess maybe she is um, enforcing him that, uh, you know, no matter where you go, you have to stay in the city. <laughs> you can't go anywhere else. Um, you have to stay close to your mother. <laughs> yeah. Good. So now she's actually feeling quite well. So... They should probably be able to take care of the homework now. And then once they are done, he can eat and she can possibly tend to the garden, maybe. Oh, no. What now? Is it going to work? Uh, no, apparently not. Let's try this again. Just casually standing in the door. <laughs> oh, why? What's wrong with this? No. Oh. It's always something, isn't it? Um, let's bring this down to the kitchen table then. And I don't have the patience to ask them to walk down again. <laughs> so let's just do this and see if I can get it to work. Probably sees what says on the books better here anyway. There's <laughs> literally just one red light in this room right now. <laughs> He's very active and very playful, so I'm thinking that maybe he has a difficult time concentrating on stuff like this. Maybe he's more practical learner, like he wants to do stuff and not sit, and not sit still for too long, those kinds of things. So I guess um, doing homework is like a nightmare for him. <laughs> I have to be at school and do work and then I have to go home and do work again. <laughs> Terror of terrors. Yeah, but it paid off. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna pop that one back up to his uh, desk. Because he doesn't really have the energy to do that one as well. So he can get leftovers and I'm sending Jessica out here to tend to her garden. Uh-oh, we have Sirius out here to greet Kimono the... or Kimo <laughs> the wolf. Yeah, you better be careful Sirius. <laughs> okay, and then he can use the bathroom again. Um, doesn't really need to take another shower, but he can play some on his guitar before he goes to sleep. If he wants to this time, that is. And the tree needs help again. 
Mm. The trees are always sickly for me, <laughs> feel like, no matter what I do. It's not until uh, they get the gold badge and can talk to the trees that they perk up, but... Well, the dog survived. Happy to see it. Needs a bath, though, so... I'm gonna see if Jessica can do it. Yeah, so he's gonna play guitar and probably disrupt the neighbors. <laughs> but it's just an acoustic guitar, so it's not that loud, but still. I think she can wait with watering them until the morning, hopefully. Let's see if we can prioritize the dog, maybe. Wash serious. Is the dog? Oh, out by the wolf again. Hmm. Much more friendly with the Kimo, the wolf, than uh, Noodle, the cat. <laughs> hmm. Let's see if he wants to come and have a bath. Oh, actually, he did. I thought that he was uh, a pig pen. No, actually, finicky. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. Yeah, the fun bar is full, and I think it's time for him to go to sleep. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> Let's try this again. Uh, okay, I think it is that this has to be like two tiles. So maybe if I put this one on a walk around block. If I can find the table that is. There we go. Maybe this works now. Yes. So they actually have to be able to like walk into this tile and then forward. So that's why. At least for large dogs that is. I don't think it's the same for small dogs. Oh, that was pretty quick. So let's praise for behaving in the tub. <laughs> With the butt out the door. <laughs> Nice. Okay, I think she's gonna have to use the bathroom before she heads to bed, otherwise she'll wake up in the middle of the night. Right, and that was their day. So... A bit of a different family from the ones we've had so far, but uh, I like the variety and the change. Uh, it was awesome to finally get to try out this house it actually worked perfectly so i'm very happy about that and yeah i think i got a pretty good idea about these sims by now not what i had been expecting but uh, it never is you know <laughs> you're always taken off guard with the sims so yeah i think that she's gonna keep working for a bit yet i think that she takes pleasure from actually being active at work and meeting people and doing good you know and then uh, she's going to retire only when she can't work anymore, I think. But she's going to keep up with her garden. And uh, yeah, possibly when there's like art shows and uh, museums and stuff in the town and maybe concerts and stuff like that. She's going to be the first one in line, I think. <laughs> and yeah, Orion, um, I think, might become a bit uh, more rebellious, possibly. We'll have to see what he gets up to. He has um, five days left until he uh, heads to university. So we're going to see him quite a lot around the high school and stuff. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video as always. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you next time. Take care. <laughs> Bye.